Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at some of the words that we use in English to describe people's appearance. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at ways that we can describe people's appearance in English. And we've got words at the top that are associated with uh, build and figure, and words here that are associated with the way people dress or look in general. Okay. So, firstly, we'll have a look at these two words, which are build and figure. And when we describe somebody's appearance, we often talk about their build uh, for men and women. More common to use build with men and more common to use the word figure with women. So for example, we can talk about a slim build, a slender build, a lean build, and we can use this word here as well, which is svelte. Now this word is not as common as the other ones, but it's similar in meaning to slender. And slender, of course, is not uh, overweight or not fat. It's slender. It's another way of using the word slim or thin. So these words are all similar in meaning to describe build and figure. So slim, slender, lean and svelte. Lean meaning that there's not much meat on the bones, if you like, okay? Very lean build. Stocky, well-built, heavy set, fairly similar in meaning and they mean uh, a person who is uh, quite big. Not necessarily overweight, but one of these people that have uh, quite a big uh, body, quite a stocky body, well-built, heavy set. You get the idea of a rugby player, somebody who is stocky or heavy set. Well-built, meaning that the uh, body is in good proportion, okay? So uh, not too skinny, not too fat, well built. Plump, chubby and rotund are similar as well. Plump is another way of saying uh, a little bit overweight, a little bit fat. Uh, chubby as well, a little bit chubby. Uh, it's not uh, as negative as calling somebody fat or obese, but if you say somebody's chubby or plump, it means that they're, they've got a few extra kilos that they're carrying around with them. And rotund, round, okay? A rotund person with a type of round shape. Now down here, clean cut, neat, okay? Ways of describing people. You can say that uh, somebody is very clean cut, meaning that they are very neat and tidy. Perhaps they are well shaven, the hair is cut nicely, the clothes are very clean and nice, very clean cut. Again, neat, similar, okay? A neat appearance. Again, uh, clothes, very neat clothes. Uh, again, no uh, unshaven face, uh, untidy hair, no. Everything is neat, clean cut, neat. Elegant, immaculate, glamorous. So we can uh, say somebody is elegant, the way that they dress, a very elegant dresser. Immaculate, meaning that everything is absolutely perfect. If you, uh, for example, have a suit, and it's very clean, and it's been to the dry cleaners, everything is perfect. You could say that uh, that is immaculate. He's an immaculate dresser. Uh, glamorous, a person with glamour, a very stylish person, a person that has fashion sense, a person that um, uh, knows how to wear their hair, perhaps. Maybe if we're talking about a woman, a person can be very glamorous. Stylish again, stylish, somebody who uh, understands fashion, wears some perhaps the latest fashion, wears what's in fashion, a stylish person, so with uh, a modern hairstyle, uh, earrings if it's a woman, uh, a man again, if a man is very stylish, he's wearing a, a, a suit or clothes that are in fashion, very stylish. And this word here, spruce, Related more to clean cut and neat, a uh, spruce person, again, uh, somebody who is clean, neat, tidy. It's very common to use it with up. So to spruce up. So if you say, I'm going to spruce myself up, 
It means you have a shower, you have a shave, you put on some deodorant, you put on some nice clothes, you make yourself, uh, you make your appearance um, perhaps attractive to other people to look at, okay? You spruce yourself up. Frumpy and dowdy, similar, unfashionable. These three could be fairly similar. Uh, frumpy, dowdy, unfashionable. To give you an idea, the movie Bridget Jones's Diary, if you have seen it, Bridget Jones would be somebody that we could describe as frumpy, okay? Old fashioned, the clothes maybe, the clothes she wears are not particularly stylish. Old fashioned, maybe her hairstyle. Uh, or the way that she, uh, or, as I said before, the clothes she wears, frumpy or dowdy, unfashionable. Scruffy and, shub and shabby, the opposite of clean cut and neat. So scruffy and shabby, if you're scruffy looking, it means that you don't really care about your appearance, your hair's all over the place, unshaven maybe, um, maybe your uh, fingernails are a bit longer than they should be. You're a little bit scruffy, clothes as well, old clothes. Shabby, again, shabby in appearance, uh, old, old looking clothes, you just look shabby, okay? Overdressed, underdressed, well-dressed and badly dressed. Now, obviously, fairly self-explanatory, these ones. If you're overdressed, it means that your clothes are too formal for the occasion. So if somebody invites you to a barbecue and you go to the barbecue in a suit, you are overdressed. Underdressed is the opposite. So if you go to a formal dinner and you wear jeans and a t-shirt, for example, what I'm wearing at the moment, this is could be underdressed for a formal event. Well-dressed means that your clothes are in good condition. You're very well-dressed if you wear a suit. You could also uh, be well dressed with uh, a nice pair of jeans and a nice shirt, a nice pair of shoes, you're very well dressed. Somebody who knows how to dress well also. And badly dressed, again, scruffy or shabby, badly dressed. Uh, clothes don't fit the occasion. Perhaps you've got a t-shirt with holes in them. Perhaps your uh, shoes have got holes in the bottom of them. Perhaps you're wearing uh, thongs or flip-flops uh, to a restaurant. You're badly dressed for the occasion, so you need to go home and uh, spruce yourself up. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below where it says comments down there. Uh, share the video, please, on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest. Share it up on social media. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye.